What's up guys, this is Virtual. Let me show you how you can set up estimated delivery date. And as you can see here on the product detail page, we can showcase when the product is actually going to arrive. And we calculate this very, com there's a very complex calculation behind. We're looking at processing time. So actually how long it takes you as a company to process an order combined with all kind of logics that you can set up in the back end of we supply as well as combined with the courier data of when the product is actually going to be finished processing how long it's going to take from that specific moment to ship it to the customer so like how long is going to take ups usps to deliver that package it's very different from transit time because transit time only looks at the amount of time it takes to ship it where we are looking at the entire end to end time from the moment the customer would place this order until that arrives at the customer's doorstep. So it's a really cool feature. It definitely helps with uh, conversion rate. It um, makes sure you know that the customer understands when the product is going to arrive. It sets up, you know, the right expectations. So for example, today I understand that it's going to arrive on September 24th based on my zip code and that means because after i place this order tomorrow i'm not going to give a call you know like hey when is this product going to be you know delivered so it's, it's going to de decrease the wismo related questions where is my order basically and let me show you some really cool features i can actually change here the zip code so i can uh type in a new zip code and recalculate the delivery date. In this situation, it's going to be the same. Um, and also I can set up logics. So based on different car product attributes, the estimated delivery date might change. So for the gray product is going to arrive on September 24th. And for blue is going to arrive October 1st. Now let me show you how you set this up. It's really fun. Um, now let's head over to we supply admin panel. Uh, we go to settings and estimates. And here um, we can select how we want to calculate estimated delivery date. Is it going to be based off of a default ship location? Default ship location refers to if you have one big warehouse from where everything is shipped out, but if in case you have multiple uh, warehouses, we can actually calculate it based on the closest warehouse. So you might have a, a product, a warehouse on East Coast, one on West Coast, and if the customer is closer to West Coast or East Coast, you know, we basically calculate estimated delivery date based on the closest warehouse. Next, we can set up when if you want to enable cutoff time so here uh, i can see i received this product by october 1st if i place this order within 17 hours and 17 minutes um, so if you have a cutoff time you can set it up for example in this case you know we know our products are going to be um, shipped out by 4 p.m that's when you know let's say the ups guy comes and picks up all the packages um and by then you know it can be set up next we can set up holidays for example a single day um it can be for example uh, december 25th or another recurring holiday that's going to happen every day every year or a specific time range you know period between um, December 31st and for example January 1st we are not working you know and this can be extended to multiple days and you can add as many holidays as you want so you can go through and select you know as many single days as you know it's needed um, for example September 23rd might be a holiday also you can select the days that your warehouse is not working in this situation we can have sundays and saturdays and you can select any other day and basically this is going to be calculated into the estimated delivery date so if a customer would place an order uh, thursday 
we know that the next day where your warehouse is going to work is going to be actually next Monday. Um, next, we can select countries. We want to enable this feature. So for example, we only want uh, estimated delivery date to show for customers within US. We do not want international customers to get estimated delivery date because you know it might be too complicated for them because we have customs, right? We don't know how, how long customs can take. It can take one day or it can take two, three days. Um, and we don't, we might not want to over promise. Then we can have restricted areas, states, for example. And in this situation, it's often, um, you know, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, Alaska, you know, are uh, restricted areas where you either do not ship or you just cannot uh, set up an estimate, an accurate estimate. So all these are uh, basic options that you can set up for your products. Now, let me show you how you can set up different rules, such as the one that I showcased there, where for the color blue, we add five additional days, right? So you come here, we see for the blue product, October 1st, and for the gray one is going to be September 24th. So very simple, um, we just create a new logic. We give it a name, blue color, and we select the condition. The condition is product attribute, color is one off, in our case is blue. And you can select here if you want for a specific SKU number or whatever it might be. And then you can select uh, how many dates you would like to add. So in this case, we want five. So let me think about this another solution situation. Let's say you have customized products, right? You have t-shirts that are fully customized and some designs you have on stock ready to ship where others need to be custom printed, right? In that situation, it might be product attribute equals custom, right? Is one is true then add it might take you two or three days to custom print a t-shirt um, so you might select four days and um, then you have another option here which is called exclusive logic um, this one basically is going to ignore all other logics you know that you might have there where it might overlap and it's going to take this so if you have if the product is custom and it's blue, right? Um, you might have a blue t-shirt, right? That is custom printed. Uh, for blue, you need three days and for, because it's custom additional four, you know, you can select, we want additional four days to be calculated, not the three and do not add the two. Um, it's very easy to set it up, very flexible. You can basically set up any kind of logics here. Um, and calculate very accurate estimated delivery date. We are, when we are calculating this, we're looking at historical data. So if you have a brand new fresh account and you have zero historical data, we actually do not suggest to enable estimated delivery days right away. We want you to wait at least a week, maybe two or three, until we gather enough data to be able to estimate how long it's going for you to take to process orders. And um, let me show you something really, really cool because we have a lot of data around, um, for example, around estimated delivery date. So if you have multiple warehouses, we can actually determine how fast one warehouse is processing orders versus another one. So in this situation, uh, warehouse number 1003 requires 171 hours to process an order, where warehouse number 1035 only 20 hours. So it's cl there's clearly an issue here. Um, if they might have a technical issue or um, how's it called? Maybe like understaffed. But this is information that we are processing when we are actually calculating estimated delivery date. And then we're looking at your processing time. Um, so currently it's 23 hours, 90.92. Um, and if you have like a, 
internal goal you know all orders must be processed between 24 hours then you can see where you are not hitting that number or when you're like performing very well then we look at delivery data you know this is um, the data from UPS USPS uh, and the end-to-end -end data which basically calculates the processing time plus um, plus the courier time so here you can actually see uh, how long it takes from the moment the customer places the order pushes the button by now until they actually receive it at their doorstep and um, this data the end-to-end -end data is often very tightly uh, correlated with the customer satisfaction score so it's really cool because you can actually analyze the data of and the satisfaction of your customers based on your delivery time so if you have more questions let me know but estimated delivery date is really really cool it helps a lot with um, conversion rate and I highly suggest to enable it because your customers are gonna love it <laughs> take care